Hey guys, Gamer Charizard here, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hello, welcome, my name's Charlie, it's nice to meet you. Quick thing before we get into this new video, yes, I have two of our Let's Plays for The Sims 4, Chandler's Life, as well as the Game Over Challenge. I currently can't find the save files since I've moved from one PC to another. I will hopefully find them saved on an external hard drive somewhere, but that it, they're actually unfortunately going to have to wait for a bit, but I do hope to continue them, and The Sims 2 will also also continue as well next week so I actually well getting into the video now I actually have a two-year-old save file for my super sim Malia and I've been playing her since the very beginning of that save file she's the only sim I really play and control other than the family that lives with her at the time I've always been curious to play around with some of her youngest generations in the family tree but whenever I've kind of diverted off to another part of the family she's always kind of appeared and made me wonder what she's doing is she messing up anything is she gonna die suddenly of random things that the game decides to throw at her and it always kind of makes me worried oh my god all the hard work I've put into making her she's suddenly just gonna go poof and that's always scared me to the point where I'd end up going back to her household and controlling her and her family again and kind of just letting the other families do what they want to do so whenever she has children once they've aged up to an adult I move them out, I unplay them as a character and let them decide their life. So her family tree is crazy and I will actually show you because it is in this save file. I will show you her crazy 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 family tree and the fact that princess here is a fifth generation of her legacy. And I wanted to play, as I say, around with other parts of the family, but always been worried to. So I decided that I would do that, but I would save as the file that I was currently on, um, with Princess only now becoming a young adult. I've played through Princess since she was born, and I've also played around with Alonzo a bit as well, but nowhere near as much. He only just moved in and he proposed as soon as they became adults because they're childhood sweethearts. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to play around with Princess. I've always kind of been interested in doing the actress career, which I haven't really done properly. So that is what we'll be doing with Princess because that has been her life goal for the longest time to become a famous actress. Now, first off, you're probably wondering, why does she look so annoyed and why does he look so embarrassed about something? And the thing is, they've just got engaged. They have their engagement party tomorrow. And he decided to spring on her a little surprise, other than the ring, and that was that he brought them a house. Now, they come from Hank... Um, oh my god. They come from a mansion, basically. It's not a huge house, but it was a big house. It had everything you needed in there. It was near enough a four-story house, even though three levels were what you lived in, and actually, no, five stories of maybe we'll see the house anyway so i better show you exactly what i mean but it was in Hempford on bagley and it's malia's house and he decided that they needed their own space they needed their own place together so they could start raising their own family and not living under malia's shadow but unfortunately he didn't read the fine print he saw some pictures he saw the price and he thought oh my god that's amazing we're going to Brindleton Bay we're gonna have a great time and this is what they were greeted with a haunted house <laughs> that has been completely and utterly abandoned nature has taken over wolves have caved in Roofs have collapsed, fences have collapsed, and it's also become a dumping ground for anything and anything, anything and everything that people wanted to dump, such as old car parts, tents, boxes, tombstones, um, tires, papers, anything and everything has been dumped here, including fridges and such. Now, it's probably going to cost them most of the money that they have in order to get rid of everything that is on this lot to be able to try and start again. And the problem is, she's too worried about going to Malia and being like, so he made a mistake, can we move back in? Because that's embarrassing. I mean, she's... Malia is successful and does everything and she doesn't want to have to go back and mooch off her. She may be a great, 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 great grandma, but... At the end of the day, 
Princess wants to be a famous actress. She can't live in someone else's house. She has to have her own place. So she's decided that they're going to have to stick this out and they're going to have to do rags to riches indeed. And she wants to become poor and a nobody to becoming super famous and owning a mansion of her own. And maybe that is something that will hopefully become a reality as well as having children together. So yes, what we're going to have to do unfortunately is we're going to have to clear this lot which is probably going to cost them a fair bit of money because obviously they're going to have to get people in to help them as well as buying a skip for all the rubbish to get that um, off to the tip so that they can actually have a semi-livable area. There is thankfully a tent that is on the site and she's hoping that they'll be able to clean it up and use that to sleep in at least as well as there is a toilet and a sink hopefully that can be repaired as well as a bathtub there are a couple of cabinets but unfortunately the fridge and the cooker all have to go so hopefully they'll have enough money at the end of it to be able to afford a few things um, some of the stuff they might be able to sell to get some money so what I'm going to do is I'm going to help them get rid of all this stuff so that we have a clear strip of land and then we can hopefully go from there and start their lives together. Ta-da! So other than the weather they made huge progress and they managed to actually get rid of near enough everything that they could off the land. They kept a few things here and there that they found like little gems such as a bike <laughs> so they've kept those kind of things unfortunately stuff like the tub the fridge the cooker they all had to go because they were damaged beyond repair the actual um fireplace that was there was basically brand new hardly used and it was in very good condition after they cleaned it up so they actually managed to sell that for 800 simoleons and that money they used as well as anything else they had at the time was to rebuild the roof so they actually had a roof over their heads and they're hoping that it works as well as it should do for now until they're able to make it a bit better um unfortunately they have got a bit low on money so they don't really want to spend too much on making all the walls and everything because at the moment they don't have anything on the inside that it doesn't really matter if they get a bit waterlogged because they already are already um they worry about getting a cooker and a fridge at least a fridge so that they can at least have some food on site they have got their toilet and their sinks so they're hoping to buy a cheap shower or something in order to be able to keep clean they have cleaned up the tent and it's usable it is hardly used new so they'll be able to use a tent to sleep in and they actually cleaned up the little pond outside as well now let me know in the comments do we get rid of this do they fill it in let me know about that one um yeah so they have done real good progress they've also paid for their power water and cell service which is a mod i have a um, SNM bank so that you have to pay for things and you can either get packages where I actually I could just show you it'll probably be easier to show you um so yeah you can have like um home services and you can get like basic full premium packages so like this one includes water uh power uh, garbage collection this one includes everything from here as well as cable tv cell phone and basic internet and then this one just has better cable and better internet now we've actually only gone for power water and self-service at the moment because we don't need to worry about the internet at the moment but once they have a bit more money and a stable income then we can get everything and that will be good for that now they've also gone ahead and already um got their jobs lined up because they know that they're going to need the money and princess wanting to be an aspiring actress has already gone ahead and joined the everyday extra talents agency and got herself an audition for salty subs commercial and she already has skills because as i say i have grown when she was born i um made sure to get all her sort of skills up as best as I could as well as getting her aids and everything she's done both after school clubs so she's got some really nice skills such as level four in acting already level six in painting because she always autonomously did that herself level three fitness level five charisma so that's going to help us out with the audition and level four writing whereas everything else is kind of basic and um also we have oh sorry and he also has joined the athletics career to become an athlete um 
we also have a busy schedule we've got the engagement dinner tomorrow at the super sim manor so you'll be able to see malia's house as well as the bachelorette and bachelor party next week and the week after we have the family gathering just before the wedding which has already been set in stone malia is going to be the sim of honor and um, her father is going to actually um, do the ceremony for them. Layla, uh, her daughter, is the flower pal. The ring bearer is Alonzo's brother. And guests are as follows. So we have Megan and Pablo, who are actually really good friends of both of them. They went to school together. Quinn is Malia's youngest child and also grew up with Princess. They have a bit of an ill fate relationship right now, while well, she does with Alonzo, because they actually had Joshua together, but um, Princess doesn't know. And I'm pretty sure Alonzo also doesn't know that Princess had a baby with Patchy. It was kind of me messing around with the whole idea of her having a child with Patchy and kind of seeing what the child will look like when Patchy hasn't kind of revealed his face but um, obviously he doesn't know that so Layla is actually Patchy's child and then we also have Prince who is Princess's half brother and Joanna is actually Princess's mother, Rose is Joanna's mother and Samson Berry are actually um adopted by rose so we've got like a whole big family thing going on here unfortunately alonzo's family are basically no longer with us apart from like his brother he does have like a half brother and or sister but unfortunately i couldn't get it to work to get them to join us so we've already got all the activities ready to go and also their outfits are all ready to go as well as the location which I am actually going to show you the location itself which is the Romantic Beach Wedding by Rachel Ped. so you can get this on the gallery. It's absolutely beautiful and I love the idea of having it on that beach in the new world. Also we'll be adding this to the gallery um, not right now because their last name is actually unpaused because I was going to do the challenge of leaving my game unpaused for a while but unfortunately it didn't work out, my game crashed. But I did manage to get a small little gem that was actually beautiful between Princess and her husband, um, her fiancé Alonzo which you can actually see on my shorts playlist. So we are actually just going to jump into the game right now. We're going to see what we can buy with the money that we have. And Azel will probably be the best start so that we can at least get some money in. Um, I'm probably going to get Alonzo to try and work out. But we'll see if we can get some workout equipment. But we don't have a lot of money at the moment. And we need to make sure that we keep money around. Because we actually have got... Um, quite a lot of things that are probably going to happen where a cat and a dog hang out because we are in Brindleton Bay um, apparently the reduce and recycle is something that we can't remove so this lot generates compostable and recyclable trash and outdoor cans are no longer bottomless actively managing the trash output is a must so that's interesting I think it's something to do with a mod I have that kind of does that because I normally that wouldn't be there I don't think but I'm quite happy with that it's also a haunted house so that's gonna be something interesting it's also a bad neighborhood so high crime rate and lots of burglars are more likely to invade your home so maybe getting a dog would be a good idea creepy coolies cr crust cursed filthy gremlins I'm gonna actually put that on there sure why not uh, Goddy, uh, spooky and has wild foxes now obviously we might be able to get some chickens or something at some point to get some extra money um, maybe and also crops and stuff so after a while we can actually like slowly remove those perhaps and this is actually called the haunted fixer upper and it's actually something that I made a while ago that's actually available on my gallery I believe somewhere let's see yeah so here we go so you can actually download this my username is gamer charizard you can download this challenge for yourself and give it a go to fix it up it's kind of the one way you don't remove any of the walls and just kind of go with what you've got and a couple of people have actually done it but it's hard to see because the tag doesn't always work very well but yes we're going to jump in right now so we have some money and i'm going to get the easel straight away because that's going to be our main source of income so that was quite a chunk of our money, but we also need to get a fridge, which I 
think we'll go with the used one hopefully it doesn't break straight away like the last time i got one and also we'll get a cheap stove as well so we've got 810 simoleons we do need to get a front door i think that would be the best thing right now um nice cheap one because we can always change these around later so there we go i am actually going to build the wall there and there okay so hopefully then people actually no i don't need to worry about that wall there um but at least with that wall there then people won't be able to walk through so we still have 710 pounds so let's oh, some onions. so let's see if i can get us some workout equipment for alonzo it's not looking very promising oh okay we can get a punching bag which is good um I think that might be the best thing to get because the treadmills are like 900 so if we get a punching bag we'll pop it inside for now so that hits not like did that just do that like several times no okay i thought it like did that several times and like charged us a lot so we'll get a punching bag so that he can work out on that we have the minor things in order to be able to have a functional kitchen, so that's good. doesn't really matter if we get a fire, we can just put it out ourselves. We won't waste money on buying a smoke alarm. I think, how much are beds? Because if we can get like an actual bed, it would probably be easier. How much would it be if we sold this? 370. I don't think, oh we can get beds. Hang on, let's undo that. Oh, we can actually, okay. So let's just get uncomfortable, okay. We can get these, but then we need to buy this as well. So let's see, let's pop that there and we'll get one of these custom beds. It's a Harry Potter style one, but we can just get one. Oh, that's cute. Uh, that's a nice pack, oh, that's lovely. We'll get that one and let's just see can we afford that of course not we actually have no money left so i'm actually going to get rid of the tent now and as i say i'm not really going by rules here so we can kind of sell and do what we want we can find stuff and to sell them um this is just playing through i mean yeah we'll sort because we've got stuff like this but i really like this it looks really pretty and um we can maybe like make a stool or something eventually so i will leave that there and i'll move that tree over there out of the way okay so we've got some of the basic things that we need right now oh wait we don't have one thing we need actually and hopefully we'll be able to afford one right now if not i have to get rid of something well no we don't okay let me get rid of that again can i afford what i need to afford i can I almost forgot that we need to buy a tub. <laughs> um, if not, we will not be able to have um, a simple toilet and bathroom. A simple bathroom. So there we go. So let me just see. He needs to work out. So let's get him to practice his punching. I'll get actually Princess to sort this out. And I will also assign the right side to Princess and sign the left side to Alonzo. There we go, so she's going to run inside now. I'm actually going to move this so it's over here. Um, so we can check out... Maybe oh wow, okay, that was um interesting. So this is actually not... Oh okay, so it's already sorted. So Fruities Unite, Free Love. Um, we might want to get rid of this one perhaps because I don't want to be randomly fighting each other. So I want her to go inside because we do not want her to get struck by lightning. And I'm hoping being inside now will mean that um, they're not going to get hit by anything. I am actually going to get her to have a quick bath so she can get out of those wet clothes because we don't want her catching the cold. And then we'll serve some... Hmm... Let's serve some grilled cheese, why not? Some classic grilled cheese. I mean, this is much nicer already considering that they did, they started off with basically nothing, so it's nice that they actually have a, a bed to sleep in and basic needs all met. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, 
So she's going to pick up Sugar Trees. He's working out. and we'll see how well he's actually doing. 25% done. So he's still got ways to go. Might have to get him to do it more than once. Um, she doesn't really need to do anything. I mean, we could probably practice our charisma skill, but... Oh! <laughs> Welcome. In a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house. Possibly by the hands of some malevolent mastermind controlling your every action. Hmm, wonder who that could be. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason to be here. I can handle this. Why am I here again? Nah, Princess is quite confident. I can handle it. With feeling somewhat courageous, any rational mind would be afraid, but hey, you do you. So we're now officially in the haunted house. But eventually it won't be a haunted house because we can sort it out ourselves. And he's just finished, so let's get him to push the limits because I need to do it again. And I'm actually going to get her to grab a serving, even though she's not really that hungry at the moment, but at least that way we don't have to worry about that. And then I'm actually... Oh dear. Oh yes, that is... <laughs> That is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to have to wait to get some money. She has got some trophies from scouting in her inventory, but that's it. And he doesn't have anything. And I'm going to get him to have a bath afterwards. But so she's now finished. Get her to clean that up. There's not much we can do right now. That's the problem. Um, it's nearly night time, so that's good. Because we have got that engagement party at 11am in the morning tomorrow. So that's something to look forward to. So we could probably just go to sleep and hopefully wait until the morning. Um, what might I actually get her to do while well, that was kind of good? See if we could do... I don't really want to spend all our money, do we? It'll probably be good if we can get some ingredients as well so that we don't have to worry about spending. Can you do it at the same time? I'm curious. No, you can't. Okay, so... Hmm. What can we do? Nothing much, unfortunately. We can claim this as hers. I will actually claim that as hers so that no one else can use it so that we don't have to continuously lose money because somebody decides to do something about it. Um, I might just get her to go to sleep and then we'll concentrate on him for a while because his needs are a bit less than hers for now. So he just needs to do this until we can get this to 100% which actually is done. Okay. So he does need to go for a bath, which he's now doing, which is he's going to stink a little, then he'll use the toilet, and then he can actually get some leftover grilled cheese, and then he can go to sleep. Then that'll be the end of our kind of day one, I suppose, and we can look forward to the engagement party. He has actually got work tomorrow at 9am. I might actually let him go, and then when the sort of event starts, we'll go over to home and we can bring him along with us because at least he'll be going to work for two hours i don't know if it's going to make a difference we're actually getting paid or not but it's something that we're going to need so why not i mean the weather is terrible right now so we should probably just sleep it away oh and we already have a puddle inside which hopefully is from the bathtub and not from anything else we do not want a leaky roof at least I've got a random chair to sit on. They cleaned it up, varnished it, and it's nice little handmade chair. Oh, and she's already awake. How quick was that sleep? Oh no, it's because she's scared, I guess. Or maybe creepy crawlies. Is it creepy crawlies? What was that from flickering lights? Ah, goosebumps scared of thunderstorms okay so that was actually she got woken up because of the flickering lights and he didn't even want me to clean up after himself so we'll do that for you we need to keep this place as clean as possible i mean they had to dust the whole area and dust all the cobwebs off the walls oh they missed one actually they actually missed one so let's get rid of that <laughs> there we go i have live drag that's how i'm able to do that and I'll just get her to go back to sleep because this is really cute animation that happens when they're both asleep at the same time in the bed and I love it. Look! Look! They cuddle! It's so cute! And I got rid of the... Um... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so the gremlins had fun. We've got a lot of work to do when we wake up. And hopefully they'll be able to do it. So let's get her to repair the fridge. And we'll get him to repair the 
think. Oh, what's going on now? I think it was just... Oh, strange noises. Princess knew this place was haunted, but some things are creepy no matter how <laughs> you slice it. Fair enough. And we've got some um, babies being born in the world from MC Command Center Store of Aggression. That's why I love it so much. There's also this is broken as well. I'm kind of worried about them fixing this kind of thing. And we have spectres around already as well. So, yeah. Got some bugs. Uh, yeah, sure. He likes handiness. That's good because you're going to be doing a lot of it, unfortunately. And you're getting scared of the fear factor. Alonzo is having a bad time. Sins who are this scared need to occasionally scream it out for a bit. Try to get their fear in check by staying near a sacred candle or hiding under the covers for a while. I mean, okay. And you're not done. So can you actually repair it or not? He's now level two handiness. What actually are you? Are you actually... Oh, you're now about to be level 2. Cool. We need to get these two fixed because they're leaking puddles everywhere and it's dangerous. Nearly finished this... Oh, he's finished that one. So can you actually do... Can you mop up, actually? And then... Rummage through that. No, salvage for parts, actually. Salvage for parts. Where are you going? There you go. So many puddles everywhere. <laughs> okay, and then just put that in your inventory for now. Um, let's repair the toilet. How are your needs? At least your needs are very decent. And the only thing we need to worry about too much is eating and we have some food in the fridge. So that's good. Okay, so she is repairing the toilet and he is mopping up all the puddles, which is probably not the best idea to worry about right now because at the end of the day, they're just going to get worse again in the bathroom. Uh, this is part of the private practice mod. I'm kind of kind of ignore that for now because we don't really have enough money to go and get checked up on. So yeah, we've got a busy couple of weeks and it's going to be interesting to see if the new fixes that they've done for the wedding, my wedding stuff, is actually going to work. So I we'll guess we'll find out in this let's play. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the engagement party. Hopefully it'll be nice to see everybody. Okay, so he's fixed that, she's fixed that. So now can you fix this and you can scavenge the parts on these for me. Oh wait, wrong sim. I always right click on them and it doesn't always work, so. There we go, put that in your inventory. Put that in your inventory and then you can go repair the bathtub. At least, the only good thing about this is that it's helping us get our handiness skill up. When is our audition? Oh, it's Friday, that's fine. Oh, it's today. Wait, what time? 7 p.m. Okay, that's fine. Way later in the day, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's just fast forward this a little bit. He's gonna have to go to work soon. Okay, so she's done that. Let's just do this, put that in your inventory, and then mop up, please. I think she has allergies. I didn't know she had allergies. I might have to get some um, antihistamines. Oh, and we have a kitty. Um, friendly introduction. Actually, he's got to go work, right? Yep. <laughs> so he's off to work. He's just mopping up. Oh, we have loads of cats. Oh, wow. This one's really cute. Oh, my God. And the name is Porchaka. Porchata. But the colours are really cool. I love it. So cute. Oh look. The... They're making themselves at home. Why not? Okay, so we're nearly there. Make this place. Um. Oh, it's her brother. Uh, did you eat yet? I just finished eating enough stuff. Um, no, I didn't actually. Funny enough, that made us not like him. Uh, summer cool down tomorrow, but we won't worry about that. Engagement party starts soon. 
we've got an hour until then but that's fine we'll be able to maybe quickly have a bath and um go to the toilet before then if not we can always do that at the house so that's fine because i have a mod where it's like if your family or really close friends they don't mind you using their bathtub and all that i think it's a bit ridiculous like if you're on the toilet and that and someone walks in who you've known like your mum or something it's like mm, it's not really like you're gonna scream and run out of the room you should be getting invited over as well and you're not allowed to go to the fridge and get something to eat like obviously in real life no that's a big no but in this game it's just it's really annoying when you just go to get like a sandwich and they're like well get out <laughs> i paid my dues when i lived here Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about hunger because we're going to go for a meal anyway at the house which I'm probably going to get Princess to cook so it's not going to be the best meal. I mean I could see if I could ask Malia to cook perhaps but I don't know if I have that installed still so that's kind of sad. Oh bless you. Um, and you need to mop that up I guess. Oh here we go so five, four, three two and one we are now about to go to our engagement dinner so let's head to the super sim manor and we can meet some of the family members and also enjoy a nice meal with them as they congratulate us and getting engaged okay so we just arrived and this is actually the super sim manor where i play off camera this has been their home for quite a few seasons now because obviously it came when the new pack Hanford on Bagley came out and um the new world was just so beautiful that I moved her in straight away uh this house is actually available in the gallery if you're interested it has uh one two three four five levels indeed and basically if we go over here the top level is actually just the attic with everything stored inside it's very dusty and and sort of no one really goes up there and then the top floor in a way has got like a mini gym a little seating area where you can read a book and obviously a big bath room and a smaller bathroom because there's quite a lot of sims living in this house at one point you've also got this really nice sort of multi-skilled area so you've got a nice little recording situation you've got a painting area over here and you've got like your dj place and where you can snoop on the neighbors and all that sort of stuff in this room and then if we go down a level this is where the bedrooms are and oh wow it's dusty i did not realize how dusty it was up here so this room used to be really fancy with like all the fancy uh, wardrobes and everything but since princess and her mum moved out it's kind of just kind of not much has really gone on in this room and then you've also got like malia and sammy's room but malia actually doesn't sleep you've got the little child's play room with the child's room because there's only one child in this house now you've got several toilets because and bathrooms because yeah we had loads of sims in here at one point as well as the laundry room a nice little landing area for the dog or cat what was here at the time and then we've got this huge open plan downstairs with a nice bathroom oh camera moved very fast you've got a nice little seating area with a fire sort of computer area with the chess table um, one of my favorite areas in the house for no reason whatsoever is actually right here and i just love um how the seats look and they just look so comfy and it's just nice and Layla's actually claimed this one as her own seat where she sits and knits sometimes and we've got this huge kitchen area and a nice dining table as well as the outside is kind of like the miscellaneous section the play area for the dog and the kids and then you've got the cow the llama the chickens and a nice big farm area a swimming pool which we've never actually used to be honest which i think we should do at one point in this let's play a nice play area greenhouse it's just a seance room because i was doing that at the time as well as like nice little hidden gems where you can just sit and chill and enjoy the nice sunshine that comes with this pack most of the time so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to see if I can ask Malia to cook for us. But I don't think I have that installed, unfortunately. So I don't know if I need to click on Malia herself here. And I guess she's still a young adult. She's immortal. Um, let's see. Can I ask her to cook for us? Because she is an amazing cook. Um, I don't think I have it installed. That's so sad because that would have been really handy right now. 
would have had a really nice dinner rather than me cooking something and probably burning the house down, which hopefully does not happen. Okay, that's fine. We will have to do it ourselves. So I'm going to get Princess to come over and cook up. Let's see, what's the best? Oh, Beef Wellington, that sounds good. We'll do a eight party size. I think that should be enough. Um, how many sims do we actually have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. That is insane. Uh, where's Joanna? Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, and Josh was here as well. I don't know if he was invited. I guess he was. Oh, yeah, he was invited, so there might not be enough food because people are still turning up at the moment. That's fine. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing, which is fair enough. I guess you can't have too many people in a group. Oh, interesting. Bamboo. Oh. Okay, so I tested this out earlier and that didn't happen. Maybe we just don't have our enough relationships. Yeah, listen for to join cooking, I guess. But that's interesting. I tried that out earlier and there was no issue. I took a bath, I cooked some food and everything and she didn't care at all. And now she cares? Hmm, okay, that's enough. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. What? Okay. No. But... What? I'm so confused what is going on right now. Because this did not happen before. Serapi. I have a mod for this which allows us to Oh, okay. Um Fine then, I guess we'll go home. <gasps> Awkward I'm really curious why that didn't work. That's really interesting because it shouldn't have been an issue. I guess maybe because we're not high enough friendship with Malia right now. Yeah, we're not we're not the best of friends with Malia right now. But honored wedding party being a special part of the wedding is something that will be remembered forever. Allegra. A ne neutral relationship with a grandparent. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that because that was really weird. As I say, I literally tried it out where I went round her house, I cooked up a meal, I served the meal, I went for a bath, and nothing like that actually happened. And funny enough, that happened has actually started to happen straight after the patch update, so I wonder if that's broken that mod... Maybe that mod is removed or something, so I need to get that checked out. And this is a long way to go to go home. That is really annoying. Can, oh, okay, I was just going to switch control. So I guess we're having grilled cheese then, because unfortunately, and that happens sometimes with private practice, don't worry about that. Um, unfortunately, things that sometimes that you want to go to plan do not go to plan. So... I'm going to have to look at that mod because I swear that actually worked last time. It's kind of sad it didn't. Maybe we need to make sure to get a better relationship with Malia and then that won't happen again. And also we're going to claim this and we're going to sell this. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's wax. Wait, what? Was that for a... F I don't know if I put that there by accident or whether or not... Oh, look at the little doggy! Oh, that is so cute! Oh my god, this little outfit! What's your name? Oh, Pico! I'm gonna call you Piki! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, and another dog! Abo! <laughs> at least we're not gonna get lonely on here. Who are you talking to? Call a friend over. Who? Why? Eat. I guess he's like, if we can't have the party, I don't mind coming over, I just need a minute or two. <laughs> he got invited over his brother. He's like, hey bro, you'll never guess what just happened. <laughs> so we went over to <laughs> her great 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 grandma's house and um, they decided to kick us out as soon as we tried to make some food for everybody. <laughs> 
Um, also, yeah, I don't know if I actually can't remember if I show you, but this is actually the family tree. So, oh, I'm on the wrong sim right now. Uh, let me get on the right sim. <laughs> okay, so this is Malia. This is her huge family tree. As I said, like it's actually insane and I haven't played with any of these sims really apart from the ones along the top and the only sims I actually have played with like properly is Mint who then had Rose who had Joanna see like this I did not put these two together so now she has another stepbrother which is insane and then she had oh she's had another child which I didn't do so again <laughs> Um, so she had Princess, who then had Layla. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and then Malia's up here, number six. So I think that's how that works. If not, she's the fifth generation. But if I go to Princess, then Malia will actually show up. So it's really cool. Um, let me know what you think of this and whether or not we need to do something else or what we can do with the house. Obviously, we've got the audition coming up today. Hopefully, she can pass it. Um, yeah, I'm going to look into that mod because I swear because I swear it worked last time. And that's kind of like made a damper. It's going to be really nice to have like a family meal together. But no, <laughs> Malia was not having it. She's like, you've brought the cameras with you and everything. I refuse. I want you to stop this and I want you to go away. I'm just going to introduce myself to some of these pets because they might come here like real often and they're so cute. Uh, right, let's just introduce ourselves to these pets. And then you never know, if you guys like any of these pets we can adopt them. I mean I'm leaning quite a lot to this cat because it just looks awesome. Do they like us? Oh they liked us too, good to know. Happy birthday, princess. Can I come over and celebrate with you? Okay. It's not really my birthday today now, but you can come over if you want. Wait, do I have to invite you in? No, I don't. You were already invited. Oh. Well, I'm going to leave this part here. Um, we made big progress on the house so far. We've got roof and everything. We've got bed. We've got basic needs we've got people already coming over we've already been kicked out of um the house and now they're kind of deciding whether or not they actually have a good relationship with Malia or not but we will get that sorted i will check that mod and maybe we can redo that engagement di dinner for the next episode thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll catch you in the next one take care Bye bye